Hi, I'm Perry Pender from Kansas City, Missouri. Welcome to my kitchen. As you can tell, ladies, I've been busy as a bee lately. Unfortunately, I've not been able to participate in all the weeks, but I'm back. I've been reading the blogs religiously, and I've determined that all the real women of Philadelphia are also busy as a bee. Soccer games work. There's a lot of work to putting all this together. You've got shopping, you've got flowers, you've got the setup. I have a whole new appreciation for Paula and her group. That's actually one of the reasons I've picked this particular recipe today is because it's quick and fast. And for us busy bees, we need something that we can do on the go. The name of this recipe is called Philly Chili Cream Cheese. And I dare you to try to say that three times fast. Okay, let's get started. What I've already done is I have two 16 ounces bags of frozen corn that I've already put in my bowl. I'm gonna add my Kraft, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. You can use mild or um, sharp cheddar, it doesn't matter. I have two four ounces of chopped green chilies that we're going to add. Now I like to put it up a notch, so I put about a teaspoon of jalapenos in. This is optional, you could leave this out. We have two teaspoons of chili powder and a half a teaspoon of cumin. Then, of course, the star of the show are Philadelphia cream cheese. I've already softened it and I've cut it up in little hunks, as you can see. And we're going to add all two eight ounces of cream cheese to my mixture. The cream cheese truly is the star on this recipe because when it melts with that cheese and the juices of the frozen corn. I think frozen corn works better than canned corn because of the juices in it. And your jalapenos and your green chilies. Oh, it is just to die for, girls. It's just so nice and creamy. So actually, in this particular recipe, I'm actually today making a double batch of this. My girlfriend's daughter is getting married tonight, and she has 60 people going to be at her house tomorrow for a barbecue and she was in panic mode so she asked me to come over if I can make a couple of side dishes so I not only have this to make being the busy bee that I am I'm also making potato salad pasta salad and barbecue baked beans this afternoon so I am a busy bee okay now we're going to stir this up the best we can because ladies this is going to be you know, kind of chunky. It's it, There's not a lot of moisture in here until this bakes. So it's going to look pretty much like this. Now we're going to put it in our pan. Now we're going to put a 9 by 13 pan that I've lightly sprayed with pan and I'm going to put in my mixture. Like I said, it is kind of lumpy. It's not going to, it's going to look kind of strange, but that's okay. Gonna have to kind of spread it around. Let's get all the good stuff in here. We don't want to leave anything behind. You want to kind of even your pan out so it's distributed evenly. Like I said, when this all melts, it's an ooey gooey, wonderful sensation. It's great. Get every last bit. I don't want to leave any cream cheese out of this. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to take it over to the oven and we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to take it out of the oven. Since I made a double batch, I've actually left it in here about 45 minutes on this one. Okay, it's out of the oven and right now I'm sprinkling a little paprika on the top of it to give it a little added color. Normally what I usually do is I put a little fresh parsley on the top, but since this is going to a party tomorrow, I think it would be better just to use a little paprika and a little dash of cayenne pepper, which I've always called canine pepper for whatever reason. Um, go figure that one. But um, this gives it a little nice color. It will reheat nicely tomorrow. Now comes the fun part. We get to taste it. We're going to scoop some up. Look, just look how delicious that looks, girls. One of my favorite parts of cooking is the taste trial. 
Mm. I know you will love this. It's subtle with just a kick. It's great with barbecue ribs, any type of barbecue, hamburgers, whatever. It's an extra special dish to take. Plus, the great thing is, because we're all such busy bees, it only takes three or four minutes to put this together. Take it to your hostess house or at your own house, pop it in the oven, and you're done. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. I also would like to express my appreciation to Paula and the Philadelphia group because this has really been a fun contest. I haven't been on Facebook since this thing started, I don't think. This is great. I hope you enjoy it. And girls, keep cooking.